This will be the second video for uh, class trays. This is what I'll be using. Glass, wood. I'm gonna go get all this cut down and get to work. All right. So I wanna start with the handle here. So what I wanna do, most likely take all this off, probably glue them together, shape it out. Um, but then cut a hole into here. I think it'd be cool to um, have a little place for you to put your lighter up into the handle. So we'll see if I can do that. got this down to the shape and the size that I need it. This piece will be the support for the top pieces. And I'm going to sand this piece down here to also help support the front. And while that dries, I'm going to start working on the trigger. I attached this piece and I carved it down and I put this one on and I've kind of brought it into shape. Now I'm going to be gluing this one on, cutting it down to match and then eventually this will be the top so it'll be a little rounded coming down here. Now that I've got these two pieces screwed together and got the two front pieces of glass cut out, I've just got to sand an angle into them so that way they'll fit properly over top of it. Now I'm going to put these on temporarily just to see how it looks. and. Probably gonna bring these tops down, but before I do that, I wanna cut out the two back pieces to get a better idea of what it looks like. And 
then I will eventually cut these down. And start, uh, you know, that. Now that these are glued on, I'm just gonna smooth them and round them out. Kind of give it a little bit more shape. I'm gonna fill these gaps here with uh, glass dust and super glue. And while that dries, I'm gonna cut out the sliders for the top. We got these brought down. To allow them to slide. So these will be attached to here. And that will allow it to slide back and forth. But before I can attach them, I've got to paint. So I've got this area taped up and I'm gonna paint both of them. And that should help hide the glue. Uh, when I attach them. So we've got these pieces here drying. Once they're dry, they'll be glued to the inside, which will allow us to slide back and forth. But while I'm doing that, I want to um, get started. on the actual tray. So I've got all the pieces I need to make the tray. So I'm gonna take these outside and paint them. And while I'm waiting for that to dry, I've got these here. So now this can go together. It'll be sliding like that. So after I paint these while I'm waiting for them to dry, I will be straightening this out and starting to angle it in on both sides. So I've had to rework these uh, upper pieces here. I took off what I originally had attached. I'm gonna make the front of it uh, a different way. So I'm gonna paint these and uh, get them on and then finish out the angle. So now I've got these both on. And um, I decided to start moving on to these here. I noticed that when I had originally cut these out, I had it way too rounded back here. So I was trying to get the angles with these pieces here on the back, but it's really not turning out how I wanted it to. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and cut off this part on the back and then reapply this just to give it the proper uh, that angle you can see this is a little more flat going up and then flat so that's what I'll be going for While I was attempting to put all this back together, so you could see it fell apart. It's not all bad. 
because I'm going to make sure it's painted. Um, I was actually trying to figure out how to paint the inside with, um, with it all put together. So I'm going to clear this back up, get all this crap off, and then paint it all. And then put it back together. So the next time you see it, it'll be painted. All right. Now I've got all these painted. I've got the uh, black paint showing through. It is painted on this side. I just felt like putting silver over it. And just gonna glue these back together. And while they dry, I'm going to start working on engraving the uh, side pieces. So we'll see how that turns out too. So what I'm going to do next is take this piece of glass here. I drew on some lines, um, which is what I'll be using to uh, guide me through this. And I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but there's a slight little wave down here that I'll be lining up with each one of these and uh, engraving onto the glass. So hopefully, hopefully I don't break it. So that'll be the end. And that's what I'll be working on now. But as I was editing this, I made a mistake ended up uh, deleting all the footage that I had from the part you just saw till now. So what I'm gonna do is just go over how I got from there to here and put it together as I go along and then show you guys the end. So starting with this, I painted everything black. Got the top here silver. I've got the tray on, added two pieces of glass to um, help with the gap with these two together. And I've got the lighter in there. If you want the lighter out, just... Oh yeah, we got the front done. Moving on to this part. These are what I was just making. I just painted the back of them and glued them onto the side here. And ended up engraving these and the Class Trades logo. Doing the same over here, but I changed this. So I did these first and mm, it's okay. That's okay too, I guess, whatever. But I got the sight on, the hammer on, these are both glass, and then I did a little more work up here just to help with the proper angling. And these go together through here. You just put it down through. And then this front piece here, this is glass with a uh, glued onto wood in the middle. It's got this little hole and it'll hold it right here. Ooh. And so that is how it looks all put together. And then of course, opened up. got this stand here too. This is all glass except for the bottom. These are wood. So There's just two pieces of glass cut out, glued together, and I painted the bottom one silver, the top black. This is all glass too. And 